So as a kid, I was always intrigued by human cells, you know, the blood clots, all of that interested me. But then really what happened is as I was an undergraduate student in India, one of the professors uh, taught me immunology and genetics, how our immune system actually can fight diseases and how our immune system is also involved in autoimmunity, all of that. And I just said, I have to do this. Since that revelation, Dr. Pinku Mukherjee has traveled the world, dedicating her life to cancer research. This passion soon turned very personal. So not only was I fascinated with immunology and cancer, but I had family members, my aunt, who died of breast cancer at that time. And it just made me even more determined to continue in that. I arrived in Mayo Clinic in 1998. And I started to work with a colleague of mine, Dr. Gendler. So we started to make really good mouse models and really good strategies to fight breast cancer. And I had written a grant on how arthritis in the bone, because of their inflammation, can actually recruit breast cancer cells to go there and cause metastases. And one of the biggest problems of breast cancer is bone metastases. So I went into diagnosis. My focus became therapeutic and diagnostics. Mammograms miss 50% and sometimes 100% if you have really dense breast. Women are not even told that they have dense breast when they do their mammograms. The mammograms come out squeaky clean and three months later they find out they have stage three breast cancer that has metastasized. So the challenge was huge. I mean, there is a big need. Pancreatic cancer, you can't even imagine. There is nothing. They are diagnosed so late that they all die. I mean, it's like, you know, wh whoever are diagnosed, their prognosis is so poor. Another difficult challenge for cancer patients is that radiation and chemotherapy elicit major side effects on the entire body. Dr. Mukherjee worked diligently to develop an antibody for targeted cancer therapy. Her efforts led to a groundbreaking discovery. It happened very serendipitously. I was looking for a way to deliver these drugs into the cancer itself. So that's how my pursuit of this antibody started. I used a lot of them that were out there in the market, did not have good luck, made my own. And then I was testing them with some of the serum samples I had in my freezer, and I found that it could actually detect this antigen in the serum, and actually was extremely good in differentiating malignant from benign. This incredible finding led to the creation of a blood test patent and a spin-off company, Oncotab, that could revolutionize cancer detection and at some point possibly make mammograms obsolete. This new blood test would be definitely less invasive. It's just a simple blood test. It would take out a lot of anxiety from the time you have the screening things such as mammograms or colonoscopy or whatever until your biopsy. My dream would be that this test would be given to everyone who goes to the doctor just like you get a panel of sugar test or you know your veg vitamin test or whatever you get this test. The research team at UNC Charlotte and Oncotab are working together for this dream to happen. I think Pinku has really put UNC Charlotte on the map in terms of cancer research, which is an unusual place for us to be given that we don't have a medical school. But we have a medical community here, and through her partnerships with the Carolinas Healthcare System and other institutions in the region, uh, we've really taken off in this area. She has taken her work into the marketplace and developed a company and I think mo uh, maybe most interesting is that she spends a lot of time yes. developing young students, particularly young women um, students. Dr. Lopadas Roy was one of these students. She worked closely under Dr. Mukherjee as a budding scientist at Mayo Clinic and followed her to UNC Charlotte. She is now a critical member of Dr. Mukherjee's team and serves as the director of research for Oncotab.
God. The most exciting mm -hmm. part for me to be a part of this team on Kotab Inc. is that because eventually when it's going to go to clinics, I, will, I feel that it will be a great satisfaction because it's not about science only, it's about the mankind. Dr. Mukherjee is very passionate about her work, you know, about the science of it, and her ideas are going to revolutionize the whole scenario of women with breast cancer. She is also determined to develop a diagnostic test for pancreatic cancer, with high hopes of improving health outcomes for those suffering from the disease. Her work in pancreatic cancer, it means a lot to me personally because my mother died of pancreatic cancer. It's one of the toughest cancers it, there is. It's the seventh biggest killer uh, in the cancer family. We have a responsibility as a public university to serve the people of this state and the research of Dr. McCurgy is a perfect example of how service translates into saving lives, into improving lives, and into uh, making a real difference for humanity both in North Carolina and around the world. So these were cell viability assays to test the viability of these nanoparticles. But my I am a PhD student, so my research is primarily concentrating in pancreatic cancer. So what we're doing is I'm using nanoparticles that are guided by an antibody to deliver drugs to pancreatic cancer. I ended up choosing Dr. Mukherjee as my top choice for a prime investigator because of the research she does, you know, working with cancer. So I feel like it's where I can make the most impact. It's actually really amazing to work with someone of her caliber. She's also just an amazing person to have as a mentor in life. She is more focused on not just the science aspects. She pushes you very hard and she expects you to be your full potential. However, she also considers her students as her children and she wants her children to succeed. And that's the type of environment that I love. Dr. McCurgy uh, is phenomenal. Uh, we're very proud of, of her and very happy that uh, she's, she's won this award. We'll be able to hold her up as yet another example of research and teaching in our great university.